could speak with animals, but I doubt he's an animal. <laughs> no, he doesn't classify as human. I mean, as oh, I we can get a fish animal. interpreter. I'll speak to the fish, and then he can talk to the sahag. <laughs> <laughs> we just need a fish. <laughs> Go get him, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> I could take tongues tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, after I, I could switch up spells. And, I mean, it would give me less remove curses, but. <laughs> <laughs> However, just for a, you know, logic sense, we know that the hole was not big enough for him to come through, so we think there's he no was way there. that yeah yeah. I mean, it was a so but he it was, was here just under hole. twelve inch hole. Okay, so he didn't and make he's the hole. A person, <laughs> basically. I, feel, I think. Just gonna continue to look around. Gonna look, search more? Yeah. Do you have a hold or anything for this individual? A yeah. brig? Yes, take him to the brig. Okay. Yep, yeah, so a couple crew members come grab him and uh, go to start escorting him. Come warning him and I can have words. Um, I'll, I'll <laughs> escort them down just to make sure it gets in there. Okay. I want to make sure that the prisoner is treated appropriately. I'll just roll another perception check to search through some more if you'd like. Yeah, right! That looks <laughs> like a 21. one from here. 21. It's a one and <laughs> Uh, You search around some more. You do not notice anything. Uh, you thought you saw something in the corner of your eye, but when you investigated it, it did not seem to be amount to anything. Uh, but then you hear a whisper. Up around the corner. Yeah. Over there. Uh the, the your armor. Uh, which armor. I have. Yes, thank you. Oh, I was like, I have the name here somewhere. <laughs> So all those wh- kind of whispering, you recognize the voice quickly. Obviously, it's talking in your mind as well, which is usually a good hint. Um, directs you to, again, where you thought you saw something in the corner of your eye. When you looked again, it wasn't quite there. Uh, it directs you back to the spot. When you go back there, you again, you don't see anything. Like, you know, the first time you thought you saw something, you went back, you investigated, you don't see anything. Uh, you start to walk away. All the brings you back, uh, directs you back there. Nothing's standing out. Like, you're in the corner of this cabin. Nothing seems to be standing out. And you're just... Uh, make an Arcana check for me. Okay. <sighs> it's okay. Every now and then you fall apart. <laughs> come on, come on, you can do it. Like it's there, it's right there in front of you. Come can on. I shoot um <laughs> Ray of Frost? <laughs> just gonna, I can't just, see it. Can I kill it? Uh, <laughs> I'm probably thinking of something else that would work better, but yeah, I'm like, I, uh, I wish I had like a cone of cold or something like I that, know, or some right. kind of like area yeah, of like um, I'll hit everything in front of me. I have <laughs> fire stuff. Fire stuff. <laughs> burning well, hands. I do have burning that's, hands. That's that's a too. cone. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, because Ray of Frost is just like a beam. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a straight yeah, line. It's like a laser. Water. Yeah. Yeah. Like okay. a freaking laser. Once a day. Oh, burning hands. <laughs> I'm okay. <spent. laughs> now, just because I think this is funny, roll uh, just a <laughs> really want to free it. Um, you know. just a wisdom check. <laughs> Fail it. Because <laughs> you're on a ship with wood. I have the nice 12. roll. Okay. <laughs> So you're like, well, this is a wooden ship, but I mean, it's a ship where it's damp. It's really damp. Yeah, yeah. This could be, there I mean, was water it's, in it's here. It's probably <laughs> fine. The humidity's high. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably okay. Uh, yeah, you can shoot uh, burning hands. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just scenario just effects, so you can roll damage. And that's when your armor tells you it's just a money pouch. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, Eleven fire damage. Uh, Jr., you want to roll a uh, d20 for me? Oh, I said I never said. That one, that seven. Uh, so all of a sudden you're. Ow! <laughs> and uh, you see this. Uh, figure kind of shimmer into existence 
and kind of start prancing around the room, friggin' like. Mm -hmm. And as quickly as that draws your attention, your attention is quickly drawn back to the fact that now that corner of the room is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear all now like, I don't know if that's how I would have done that. <laughs> you found your lassie. Now you know what you need to do. Burn them! Burn them all! <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you uh -huh. see the, uh, yeah, you have the corner of the room on fire. The magical fire quickly dried the wood of the room and, uh, set it ablaze. <laughs> and this small humanoid figure looks kinda elven. They're putting their, you know, some of their clothing out and quickly darts out the room. Well, Did yeah. we start seeing smoke? Well, well, how, about, how about, aside from the fact that you're laughing, what would Neria have done seeing a <laughs> flaming little small person? Um. That's a good question. Yeah, yeah. Take a breath. breath. How would Neria deal with the situation? <laughs> Neria would. Possibly spend it going, oh god, looking at the fire, and then <laughs> he runs off the other Neria would chase after the elf and then shout, hey! There's a fire! Okay. Somebody put it out! <laughs> I expected her to follow the figure. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't hundred yeah. percent sure if she'd address the fire, just like like just I could just see this like being like a fifteen minute thing and just like I got this person. Oh by the way, the ship's on fire. Look at oh. this elf, he started a fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh make a uh... <laughs> I really wanted to freeze it, but you know. <laughs> Note to self, uh, non-fire-based area of effect Kids. spell. No, I have that no, <laughs> with brain hands fire. all the time, yeah. so I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's fine. Uh, Jerry has so... started a few forest fires with burning hands. <clears throat> Let's go <laughs> with and Not a... all that we put out. <laughs> Excuse me. Athletics check. As you chase down the, the, the figure. Okay. Of course. That is a 25. So yeah, the figure makes it out of the room. You are you take a second to kind of like, oh, fire, oh, figure. So you, you're you out the room like a moment, a moment after them. You fly around the corner like a pro. They start to run up some stairs down, you know, down the hall. And before they even get up the third step, you grab them, you know, by the, the back of the shirt and kind of yank <laughs> them down. And yeah, it looks like a small elf girl. Uh, and she starts. She start saying something in presumably Elvin. You've heard Elvin spoken a few times. Like, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt! Me. No! 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 Please! You're not 100. percent sure. You don't speak Elvin, I don't think, right? Okay. So you're not 100 percent sure what she's saying, but she seems defensive and and, and, and scared. And you did yell about the yes, fire. So, so everyone can make a perception check. <laughs> Twelve. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Okay. With all, you all hear the yelling. I was gonna say your the the, the role's not for the, uh, the passive perception. Mm -hmm. that passive perception, you hear her yelling for fire. You all smell smoke. Okay. And, and notice smoke billowing up. I'm headed down to the. <laughs> I I see the smoke. I'm headed in towards the fire. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I just? I walk by and just cast a spell magic. Spell magic. Uh, yeah, the the magic was gone. I mean, it's just now actual fire. So. Oh, it's just actual fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cast gust of wind. Okay. Uh, the gust disperses gas or vapor and extinguishes candles, torches, and similar unprotected flames in the area. How big is okay. the fire? Let's do that. Uh, first. yeah. I was gonna say, uh, it's. I'd say it's. Is it like <laughs> the wall is on fire, or is it like there are spots of fire? No, no. At this point, you know, it started off with there are spots of fire, but because of the intensity of the fire. And the fact that her spell instantly dried out the room, uh, uh, the wall is actually aflame. So yeah, I would say near bonfire level fire at this point. Okay. Then. Like you guys responded quickly, but it had a, a, you know a minute to to pick up. If I still had a third level slot left, I could put it out, no problem. Mm. But those remove curses were really important earlier. <sighs> I don't want to visit my forte. 
Uh, so... <laughs> this is a shameful situation. If I have to get some water down here. <laughs> uh, Mizzer, you come flying down the room as well, I assume. You hear fire. I don't want to get in the way. Um, I was up on the top of the deck in the middle. What if, for the, what if we cast... What if two people cast cast? Just saying, it's a thought. <laughs> I can use thaumaturgy to cause flames to dim. <laughs> <laughs> can you cause them to dim enough that they're campfire size that I can snuff them out with druid crap? No, no. Druid. But there's like crew druid members, crap. right? Yes, there are crew members. I yeah, I just want to know what Mizzer's doing before I yeah. um, intervene with NPCs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I assume there's barrels of water somewhere on board? Yeah, there's barrels of water somewhere on board. The yeah. drinking water? Yeah, drinking water, yeah. Mm. But more than one. <laughs> more than a day away. There's so more than one barrel of drinking I water. I will go get... There's a lot of barrels of alcohol. I will <laughs> I will grab a barrel of hopefully water. Okay. Hopefully <laughs> water? Uh, I don't really know the difference. Just for fun, roll on a... Um, uh, percentile, or do you want to do 20? High, low. <laughs> no, I was going to say... Uh, uh, you're in a hurry. Roll you, perception to see if you yeah, can read the label roll, quickly. Yeah, yeah exactly. If they're like, even labeled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Yeah, so that's a six perception. Okay, now roll percent, percentiles for me. Mm. Looks like a 33. Okay, so you grab a barrel. And I will... <laughs> I, uh, does the lid come off easy? I mean, what kind of... Uh, I mean, not, yeah, I'll you, you can pull it off, yeah. So yeah. pull it off and cover it. <laughs> all in one motion as fast as possible. Gotta put all the flames! Without sniffing! I, if, I was gonna I'm say, sure that, was, that was what I was waiting for. I nope, was gonna say, I'm like, to if he it. takes a second to sniff it, then Miser's sense of smell will quickly realize that this is alcohol. I smell it as I throw it. But he's just like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I actually, ex I expected him exactly. to kind of fastball special the whole cast yeah. and try to break it against the wall. I thought this about was that, definitely but a leap no one really situation. Oh, misery. I don't like fire. So, <laughs> you throw what quickly becomes a fireball <laughs> of alcohol at the fire. <laughs> I have some ignites. oil in my adventurer's pack with that. <laughs> that would be a fair shaming pick. <laughs> I'm going to look very guilty after this. Yeah, we'll have to make a meme of this moment. Of a bear man throwing a barrel of alcohol at fire. Um, Does alcohols put out the fires? <laughs> uh, well, it looks like it's getting a little warm in here, so I'll just. Uh, I'm gonna use. Thanks, <laughs> I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to down, make right? the sound of a ringing alarm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so at this point, between all the, the, alert. the raging alert. fire. Wait, wait, wait. Mister, Mister, I'll help. <laughs> I am added to the fun. <laughs> I'll just catch like, like a desk oh on fire. Oh my gosh! Like, it, it, it won't hurt. <laughs> so the uh, yeah, so Captain Jack seen... comes running down the stairs. Like he smelled the smoke. He heard fire. You know, I, I, he assumed that the uh, the experienced adventurers on board <laughs> have it in hand. But he comes running down, and it's literally that moment where like it hits. The, you hear him the super high pitched like cartoon scream, just like. <gasps> <laughs> like, my ship's on fire! What are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! All hands, all hands! Get some water, get some water! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I can even shatter and crack the hull open, and the ocean will put the fire out for <laughs> Holding us. Holding the barrel when he walks in, like, Elf did it. Elf did it. <laughs> elf did it. <laughs> we don't know about the elf. Yeah, yeah. we don't know about the elf. <laughs> don't worry, she will be sure. appropriate. And, she and will carry the appropriate punishment for this arson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yes, the uh, crew come running in with some water. They uh, quickly form an assembly line. It's the, you know like the old school, you know, like firemen were like you know <laughs> passing a bucket along, passing a bucket along, bucket passing a bucket along. <laughs> uh, roll. Uh, do, 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 do. Are you going to attempt to find another barrel to assist, or are you just going to sit back, relax? No, and I will find like... another barrel and help <laughs> oh, this time. Man. I will definitely smell. <laughs> okay, so you're going to smell this one. Okay. Make sure that it's definitely water even before I pick it up. He's going to take his time. He's going to go to each right. barrel. Yep. W A T E R 
F I R E fire. Okay, that's an alcohol. <laughs> you like dip. You gotta dip his paw and lick it. Hey right, guys, I you found see, you see a barrel of water, water and like seven or eight that are not. <laughs> <laughs> But after the seven or eight, I really needed that barrel of water to try to sober up. <laughs> so, just give me 20 minutes and I'll be able to put it out personally. I'm a little dismayed because I figured being on a ship, I wouldn't need create water. <laughs> no, if only this happened in a different sequence of events and you could control water from there to there. <laughs> just fire hosed it from the like, this is how I'll take care of the water. Uh, yeah, so, it, uh, roll percentile for me, JR. Ah, uh, 31. They're having trouble controlling the fire. <laughs> they don't seem to be, like, the, this whole room is now ablaze, so they're not getting the buckets in there fast enough. Uh, the other problem is the fact that this room is uh, one of the outer rooms. It's not the in, uh, like one of the interior rooms, so this is an outer wall of the ship. Oh jeez. <laughs> now it's not below water. It's not below you know below sea level, but it is gonna have you know, create some exposure. And we are in the middle of the squall, so we're getting hit with waves. <clears throat> so I could shatter and blow the wall out. And I also assume at this point you've come back with a with a guest. Yes, no, she's staying as far away from the fire as possible. Probably, yeah, I think... <laughs> she just goes back to her room and like, nothing is happening, nothing is happening. <laughs> I would actually be trying to, as best as I can, calm down the elf, elf in a myriad, sort of very awkward way. <laughs> <laughs> I see, like, I'm starting to, like... Like I mentioned, the Yogi Bear thing, you know, in the podcast uh, for Mizzer, seeing like a little bit of a Xena warrior princess, like the the rugged, gruff, a bit, yes. <laughs> not so cordial, polite. Like I'm trying to be nice, but I come across as not being as nice as I'm yes. really trying to be. Yeah. Miria, Mizzer wants to try something. Um, while this is all going on with the chaos, he's gonna go over to one of the side of the walls and see if I can use my maul. I don't know how much control he has on it, just to have it come out and start flattening against the wall trying to snuff out any of the air from being able to, so essentially just one long. I don't know if I could control it that way, if it's too hard. Um, so you're basically really trying to, it. like, kill the air in the, you know, around well, the fire? Well, almost making my maul spread out from me in just a flat line to cover the entire wall to make one wall, if it's flat... He's trying to reshape out, his maul to smother the fire. Yeah. But I don't know if that would even be possible, if that's too big. But he's going to try to test with his maul to see if he can do something like that to that level. Uh, or not. Uh, roll... I mean, I'm not Green Lantern, but I'm clearly trying to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thunder Wave. Or do you have to go watch Home and watch Cena to get you all, like, inspired from your game to watch? Gabrielle. Gabrielle. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> then she's gonna want a shock room. Right. Uh, roll a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. Beautiful. 19. Yeah. No wisdom bonus. Yeah, but you have your charisma modifier from your aura. Oh, right. Yeah, so 21. So, yeah, you're basically trying to will this thing to do something it yeah. never itself even fathom it would do. You get it's large enough to cover most of the wall, and you basically try to, like, press it down. Too much for my brain. Too flat. A pizza crust will only go so flat. <laughs> uh, and as you're pressing against the fire, you start to uh, actually make now make a constant uh, not not constant <laughs> make a charisma save throw. Uh, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So it doesn't cause you any pain yourself, but you can almost empathize discomfort. Oh. And you hear interesting. Ow. Ow. That's the first time ow, it's ever talked to me. Ow. 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 <laughs> I'll pull it back in. Um, uh, roll percentile for me one more time. I don't think I can do this. <laughs> Believe in me, the beliefs in you. 68. So you actually smother the fire in the area that you pressed up against, or you pressed And then your, I'll have it come back in, like, almost like an elastic. Yeah, so, so you'll rubber bands back in. 
At that point, most of the room was ablaze, so you only put out, you know, like, probably so the probably equivalent of about, again, like, right. 20% of the fire. Uh, and yes, there, there, you were clearly causing discomfort to the, <laughs> the item. Do you want to try to continue this, or pat yourself on the back for what you've accomplished? It doesn't look like it even, it's just pretty much re-engulfing, right? I mean... Uh, It's starting to catch, like, they they take advantage of the, because there are guys with pails of water still going, so they take advantage of the, the, basically, the the window that you bought them, so they start throwing buckets of water on the spot to try to make sure that it doesn't just instantly uh, re-ignite. Um... No, nope. well, I mean, if I make it mad, I make it mad. The room's more important. So I will continue to do maybe a little less spot so I can go faster around, trying to snuff it out as much as I can to help with the water. Okay. Let's see if that's so, enough to tip it um, in our favor. We'll say... And I will apologize. Every time it says ow, I will genuinely say sorry, even if it's just, you know, sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, make <laughs> so, another charisma <laughs> save throw for me. Wait, fire hurts these things? <laughs> One. This time I'm feeling the pain. With yeah. So yeah. So this time you Sorry. you you are the 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 empathy the empathetic link <laughs> physically manifests. So it almost drops you to a knee as you can Ow. feel a burning sensation coursing through your entire body uh, as you press it up against the wall. Uh, and it's you know and again it's ow, ow, Sorry. ow, Sorry. ow. And every Sorry. time you you hear it say <laughs> ow, you get that burning sensation course through your body and then it pulses away we're almost and then done it pulses through your body and then it pulses away it's almost like a, oh, like almost in rhythm with like a heartbeat just like <laughs> s- burning sensation gone yeah. burning sensation gone burning sensation gone we're almost done you're doing well uh Sorry. two more saves for me charisma so, yeah uh 19 so it's 20 so yeah no pain one. sensation that time and a 17 for that one so yeah so just uh one out of four uh, between them constantly throwing the buckets of water and you basically smothering these these areas of the room, uh, eventually the majority of the fires out until they're able to finish it off with the you know the, just the water alone. I say that left me with a little bit of a headache too. <laughs> when it's all done, you just hear like uh, that hurt. Sorry. Uh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> yeah, I prefer you didn't do that again. <laughs> okay, I will never do that again. I don't think I'll have to. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, By the way, hi, I'm Mizzer. <laughs> nice meeting you, I'm Mizzer. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, yeah. Uh, I don't see that happening very often, but, like, maybe I shouldn't be the go-to on that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. You can stop talking to me now. Good. <laughs> I don't like it talking to me. I liked it better when you weren't talking. <laughs> this is a little disconcerting. <laughs> it stops talking. It's like the second you like, you don't need to talk to me anymore. Good. <laughs> then you kind of feel it like just when it when it kind of uh, pulled itself up, or when it started vocalizing. It only, you could almost feel it like pull itself up, you know, like forward yeah. into your brain a little bit, like a more conscious level. Like you were more aware of it in yeah. your in your person. Uh, and then as soon as you said you don't have to talk to me anymore, he says good, and you kind of felt it like kind of fade back into the back of your head again. Again, and the room is no longer ablaze; it is now a char. 